Hello, Internet. This is Bone Cross coming to you live with another review. Um, in case you didn't realize what it was between that little montage thing going on, it was a Transformers game, obviously, and this uh, one was going to be brought to you by Leo Zodiac, who gave me the suggestion. Um, the game, of course, is going to be Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, one, a game that I thoroughly enjoyed not only because it came uh it kept everything simple uh with the battles and whatnot i didn't do anything trying to do anything crazy with any crazy upgrades or any kind of rpg elements it was a straight up first person shooter um obviously since you're gonna have transformers you're gonna be transforming into vehicle mode which i found worked great in this game it was an excellent adaptation of how i remember these cartoon characters fighting i mean you could go ahead and straight up robot mode as you see here switch into um vehicle mode blast away switch back into robot mode and uh go from there everything was real smooth there was nothing that i didn't enjoy about it about this game uh going back and forth between the combat as you could see right there um so that one that, that part i really enjoyed you had some varieties of weapons uh, i would say about six seven eight maybe and each had their own distinct feel and uh distinct feel fire rate etc 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 um, the sound was great. It wasn't anything out of the world, uh, um, out of this world, aside from you know the whole classic Transformer sounds of them transforming and whatnot. But what I really loved was uh, the art style. It was fantastic. I love the way that was handled. Uh, the the um, Autobot city of Iacon and the Cybertron city of Kaon were were great. Um, as a kid, this is what I pictured they would look like and it was fantastic now here I am gushing over how everything I liked and the really the only problem that I had with this game was that the characters all felt the same whether it be um, Megatron and Optimus down to um, Starfire and Bumblebee there, there's classic differences one is faster more maneuverable but overall it, it, they kind of felt the same I, I didn't really uh, feel any difference in their movements and I wish they would have added some of that in there I mean there are some um, special moves that they could do um, a, a shield a buff or um, or a, a blowback. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but th that was it. Um, I wish it would have added some sort of role or uh, s something to differentiate it was um, the ca to the characters that you were able to choose from one another. And that was pretty much my take on a single player uh, campaign. Nothing wrong with it. Love the story. Everything was great. Uh, and it has a great multiplayer too. There's um, Ascendance, Escalation, I think, which is pretty much a horde mode, and also classic um, multiplayer. So you'll have your capture the flag, your um, team deathmatch, whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. You have uh, four different uh, classes. You'll have your soldier, your scout, scientist, and leader. They all pretty much get broken down very basically, and it's it's in it's very easy to understand what you're trying to do here. And <laughs> And what I really enjoyed in this game is, is the amazing use of vehicle modes and robot modes that you're able to use. I mean, I had I had the, the the scouts, which are fighter jets, swooping in, doing strafing runs, and when I would take cover, I'd had uh, the soldiers, which turn into tank mode, bombard me with um, missile blasts. So overall, I love the multiplier. It was really great. You could level up, get different um, get different abilities and whatnot, and um, Multiplayer was surprisingly fun for me. I really enjoyed it. And here, like I was talking about, you could uh, customize your classes. This is exactly what I was talking about. You could switch up uh, different weapons, your abilities, perks, etc., etc. You could also change your color scheme and your chassis uh, system or your chassis look, whatever. Um, so overall, I, uh, the, the for the price that I was able to find it for was 15 used on Amazon. Uh, four dollars for the PC, fifteen for the 360 PS3. Um, for that, um, if you get a buddy uh, to tag along with you, go for it. Um, it'd be great. Fifteen bucks, I would definitely recommend buying it. Um, because um, and get it new. I mean, used because new, it's still gonna run you about thirty. That's a bit pricey for this kind of game. But for fifteen bucks used, definitely buy it. I would definitely recommend it. I would like to thank um, Leo Zodiac again, once again for uh, suggesting this game. Uh, really enjoyed it. And if you have any other games that you would like me to review, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll do what I can. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if not, well, well, I'm sorry, and uh, have a good one.